Hello. Where can we find you online? Gabrielle Ruiz. You can find me on Instagram. You can find me on Twitter. I don't do Snapchat. But if you find me, I'll be there and I'll say hi back. <laughs> I love it. So you're wrapping up the final season of Crazy Ex-Girlfriend. We love that show. We love your character. The diversity is awesome. Um, but so let's talk about how do you feel being the Latina and the like bi, like the bisexual girl. I was just so use another word, but I you know let's just call it what it is. Um, how do you feel being that that woman and representing so much and so many people looking up to you for that? Um, being the Latinx care, uh, woman in the show and representing um, this this woman who is not only just interesting but she's also a bisexual and she's also a woman that's discovering herself in her later 20s. I think that story needs to be told and I love so much that Crazy Ex-Girlfriend didn't make a big deal about it when she came out and when she fell in love with a woman and just happened to be a woman and she just found her happiness there only because that person just laughed at her and found her funny. Right. So it changed her world and it wasn't this big um, struggle. It wasn't, a, you know, her parents didn't estrange from her or, you know, stay away from her or, like, made her feel shame. And so, and that story can be told but at the same time. Correct. It just happens. And I yeah. love that Crazy Ex-Girlfriend did that for Valencia. Right. And you know what? Another thing about Crazy Ex-Girlfriend that I loved is that I thought it was going to be a show about a woman who, like, goes crazy psycho on her boyfriend, doesn't respect healthy boundaries, but it's actually a show that shows, you know, a woman growing, yes. learning about boundaries. It's just such a well-made show, yes. and that's why I think so many women love it. Yes. And um, I think your character is one of another character where they didn't make a big deal out of it, like you said. Um, and, it's a, and, like, do you think that this is a perfect way to end the show, like, where you guys are heading? Yes, I feel like four seasons, Aline Brosh McKenna and Rachel Bloom, the creators of our show, always knew where they wanted it to begin, to be at its arc, at its peak, at its peak, at its, at its, at its peak of the moments, and then also where it ends. So the closure, again, like the joke in our first uh, theme song, it's a little more nuanced than that. Yeah, yeah. I feel like the closure for all the characters is a lot more nuanced than we imagine, and it's such intelligent, thoughtful writing, and I feel so grateful and so blessed that I was able to be a part of it before the script was written, because we were asked some questions like, how do you feel about the yeah, we were part of of her story development and her ending, and she was, and they were always very thoughtful to let us know what was going to happen and how we felt about it. And it was just nice to be able to be a part of it. It truly is, and I'm so glad that um, people are starting to bring more diversity in TV, more yes. diversity in movie. And I'm so truly happy that yes. I got to meet and talk to you because truly, I'm a big fan of the show, a big fan of your character. Thank you. I've always felt like. I was casted as Valencia because of my energy towards the character. It never really was because I was Latina. It wasn't because she was Latina. And and I and I feel very honored to like be a part of that where casting is blind in that way, where it doesn't matter whether you are a Latino or whether you're not or either other ethnicity. Absolutely. But the diversity and honoring the the location of where West Covina is, where there is a lot of Latino culture and there's a lot of um, Filipino culture and, and I loved that they were very they honored that and didn't need to be feel pressure to represent a television show in a way that didn't represent exactly where it was from. Yeah, and uh, as I feel like your character has brings a lot of woman empowerment yes. to the audience. Yes. Can you tell me about she's that? She's so fierce. Yes, yeah, she is. Valencia's That's exactly so fierce. Yes. And she's just honest, you know? Yeah. And and the whole um, the whole topic of mental health is honesty and just accepting yourself for who you are. And I just love that Valencia from season one, who we know her as the mean girl, or you would stereotype her as, to this woman who um, is empowered by finding her own business and, be, you know, and, and falling in love with a woman at the end of season four. I just love that there was no big um, song and dance for it. And I, and I, what was I saying? What's your, what was your question again? Give me your question. Let me start to get it. empowerment to you. Yes. So Valencia from like season one to season four, you know, she had this, she always was so honest. And I love that the mental health topic is always about honest and acceptance. But also for Valencia, she just knew, she didn't figure out how to channel it correctly. And it took four seasons for her to figure out how to really empower that and lift everyone else up around her. Absolutely. With the whole girl power and the whole girl group and all that, you know, it was, it was wonderful to see her grow and humble herself and really just get real and honest with herself and her pain to be able to flourish. Absolutely. Yes. Thank you so much. That was such a great talk. Thank you.